So welcome back to the channel. Been away for a little while. Don't want to bore you with excuses while I haven't been why I haven't been making videos. But I'll put this area into context. I'm in the Smithfield, I suppose you'd call it district of London, where the meat market is. And that is the new Farringdon station on what was called the Crossrail, which is now called the Elizabeth Line, in honour of our dear old departed Queen. But yeah, I just wanted to show you, around some of these back streets, there is a house that is supposedly the oldest house in London. So I'm just going to have a little look around these streets. I'll come back to them little alleyways after. This is Cloth Street, EC1. Look at that for a little narrow passage. This is East Passage. Let's walk down here. So this is in the city of London now, but originally, this would have been outside the city walls, but as the city extended beyond the city walls, and uh, so did the boundaries of the city of London. It's enough of my ugly mug. So basically, I've just made my way back to where we just was. The old red cow. This is where we was a minute ago when I was walking down Long Lane. There's Farringdon Station on the Elizabeth Line. The old red cow. A painting in the Guildhouse shows the old red cow as it appeared in 1854 and is one of the earliest ancient taverns of Smithfield. Okay. It's that sort of writing you really have to concentrate to read it. This is a narrow lane. Not much down there, but um, quite interesting that it still exists. So this is Cloth Fair. That's Middle Street, that end of it. Um, Right, what I'll do is, I'll walk around this block 
because otherwise if I start walking up there I'll miss all this stuff out so I'll walk down Middle Street first Just going to show you something quickly. I think this has got nothing to do with a walk whatsoever, but this is something that happened to me years ago actually. Quite a long time ago, I don't know, 15 years ago maybe. Oh, look, it's gone. So, look, you see there where that space is, that used to be a public toilet. It was one of the ones where you put a 20 pence in. And it opened up and it let you in there and it gave you a certain amount of time to do what you had to do. And I was in there with my trousers round my ankles, well, to put it bluntly, having a pony. And the door opened up on me and it was a line of traffic with loads of people just staring at me having a crap. That is uh, just a useless piece of information that you don't need to know about, but I thought I'd add anyway. So this is Newbury Street. Well, that van sells, uh, well, it's delivering seafood. Yeah, absolutely pen and inks. Right, Bartholomew Close. Well, King Hall Street here, but it goes on to Bartholomew Close. Right, let's have a little look up here. I weren't going to walk this far up, but I might as well while I'm here. Bartholomew Place, look at this old sign. And it's not actual size. <laughs> yep, I'm on a camera. Look at these old places. So, let's get back to the walk at hand. Back into King Hall Street. Not actual size again. It must be a company. Look at that, look at them stairs leading up there, look. I mean, the, I'll probably get nicked if I walk up there, but. And look, you need to come sort of back in these places and see other things in perspective. Look at that old red car, how it goes above that passage there. All crooked. Follow me passage, says up there. That's the founder's hole.
and this is apparently one of the oldest churches in London. There's parts of this church that date back to Norman times, can you believe? So like, I don't know, what, a thousand years ago? Shall I stop talking? And <laughs> Look, the gate's open, I can go in there. That says private though. Don't want to take the piss too much. Rising Sun Court, number 38 Cloth Fair, Rising Sun, looks like a decent boozer, so I'll have a little look down here, well, passageways everywhere, so this Rising Sun Court Brings us back out of where we was at the start. That's Smithfield Market there, the meat market. Let's have a walk up here. Don't say I can't go up here. On camera. There's nothing to see, but it's just out of curiosity, why not? Right, Cloth Colt. Does this go anywhere? Actually it does. <laughs> you know, the other day it was really foggy and misty. If that is even the same thing, but um, it would have been really atmospheric round here. Walking these little streets. I'm back out onto Cloth Fair and back at this ancient church St Bartholomew the Great entrance to the churchyard have a look I'll go in the churchyard at least So that is what I came to see. That is the oldest house in the city of London. 41 to 42 Cloth Fair. It's obviously been renovated. It don't look as old as what that date is. But um, yeah, that is the oldest building. No, it's not the oldest building, the oldest house in the city of London. 
It was built between, I think, 1597 and 16 something. So that predates even the Great Fire. It's a wonder that it survived the Great Fire. I'm not even sure whether the Great Fire reached this far, but I'll stop talking like I know what I'm talking about and I'll add it sort of uh, add some facts and figures at the bottom of the screen. It does have character that building. It just doesn't look as old as it actually is. It's been well preserved and well maintained and well kept. There's little passageways all over the place here. I mean this one, it hasn't even got a name. Gotta keep quiet. I think these are residential addresses. It's a shame the scaffolding's here. Alpha House, 51 Cloth Fair. Built in 1740. These little back streets are amazing. Barley Mow Passage. There's the meat market again. So I would hazard a guess that there used to be a pub called the Barley Mow. Down here. Or right at the front there somewhere. It was probably that. It was called Apulia now. smoking station <laughs> and that's it really that is most of the walk there's a little bit more I want to show you we're coming out onto West Smithfield now There's the market over there behind the lorry. And that's a big city of London car park. And that there is Bart's Hospital. And this is the last thing that I wanted to show you. This gatehouse that is very old looking and indeed is very old. As usual, I'll put a little bit of a description at the bottom of the screen, give you a little bit more history about that. It might even be on that board there. This memorial commemorating the Great Rising of 1381 was commissioned by Matthew Bell, carved by Emily Holnung and unveiled by Ken Loach on the 15th of July 2015. If the Barons merited a monument to be erected at Runnymede, Tyler merited one at Smithfield. Thomas Payne, 1791. Right, so a very long time ago. When is that? 1381, there was some kind of an uprising here. And that commemorates it. What's this here? Erected 1870 by the Protestant Alliance London. Within a few feet of this spot, John Rogers, John Bradford, John Philpott, 
and other servants of God suffered death by fire. Nice. For the faith of Christ in the years 1555, 1556 and 1557. So people were actually burnt alive at this spot. Nice to know we've moved on, isn't it? Another one here. This will either... Cheers. This will either please my Scottish viewers or not, depending on their point of view. But it is historical and it is linked to Scotland. To the, to the immortal memory of Sir William Wallace, Scottish patriot born at... Elders leave Renfrewshire circa 1270 AD, who from the year 1296 fought dauntlessly in defence of his country's liberty and independence in the face of fearful odds and great hardship, being eventually betrayed and captured, brought to London and put to death near this spot on 23rd of August 1305. His example, heroism and devotion inspired those who came after him to win victory from defeat and his memory remains for all time a source of pride, honour and inspiration to his countrymen. Just basically the plaque, he's just saying that that above there was put there in 1956. That's it, that's the end of this walk. Quite interesting, I think. A lot of history around here. I mean, it's not within the city walls, so it's not the ancient city, but it is part of the city of London where it expanded beyond the city walls. Yeah, I thought this might have a little bit of history here about this, uh, this building that we're standing underneath, but. It obviously just tell you when uh, when the services are for the church. Jesus, I might need me glasses for this one. Right, another little plaque just before we go. I keep saying it's going to be the end, but I keep running into other interesting stuff. Wallace plaque, St. St. Bartholomew the Great. This plaque commemorates a funeral service held in this church for Sir William Wallace on the 700th anniversary of his execution at Smithfield Elms on the 23rd of August 1305. David R. Ross, conveyor of the Society of William Wallace, walked from Rob Royston in Glasgow to Westminster Bridge, a route taken seven centuries before by Wallace and his captors. On the 23rd of August 2005, thousands of Wallace's fellow Scots walked from Westminster Hall to the Wallace Memorial at Smithfield, the final route along which Wallace was dragged to his death. Nice. Oh my God, what's this, another plaque? What's going on? No, that's just rubbish. CCTV is in operation and all that, all that jazz. Right, that's it. This walk is is done. I've had enough now. One last little look at the church. And that old house over there. Look, I didn't realise that. You get that really in perspective there. That re that that old building there. I'd like to go inside that actually. That's it, I'm done, I'm done. So you know I said that was the end. Well, it, it's not quite because there's one more thing I want to show you. I'm at the bottom of Aldersgate Street. There's a plaque there, look, site of Stanit House, 1644 to 1882.
just want to show you this iron mongers hall because you could walk past this and easily miss it i'm on the way back so i might as well just show you it because it's here hidden away that is the iron mongers hall it looks old but i bet it's not as old as it looks but i'll find out i might be wrong the bottom part looks old and the top looks like mock tudor but i don't know i'll find out that really is it oh look there's plaques over the road <laughs> 